Good morning. Om Shanti. Namaste. Bev Hedrington here from Nutri5 Plus. It's another One Posture Wednesday. So today I thought we would look at Warrior 2, Virabhadrasana 2. So we did Baby Warrior. I know which means some of you <laughs> have a little giggle. So lower to the ground. And then this week we're going to take it up. So we'll come up to Warrior 2 from standing. So it's always good to know that when you're practicing, you can choose to do the lower option or the higher option. You know, there's always um, the opportunity to do less. And sometimes the postures that are lowered to the ground are still strong. You know, the, don't be full thinking that just because it's called baby, it's gonna be easy. You know, the, the, the lower postures are still really worth practicing, really worth understanding to get the idea of alignment before we come up into the full posture. So as always, you can get these videos on my YouTube channel, which can be accessed from my website. That's www.nutri5plus.co.uk. And if you go onto my website, you'll go straight onto the first page. If you scroll down to the white writing services and classes, click on that, it will take you to all of my current classes that I'm teaching online, in studios, live streams. And roll down, scroll down to Wednesday, there's a little hyperlink that says click here. If you click on that, it'll take you to my YouTube channel and there's lots of videos on there. And if you click on videos, it will take you to all the One Posture Wednesdays and I'm losing count, this could be 24, number 24, I think. So thank you for joining me and it's always great to get your comments and feedback. So this posture traditionally, you know, if you can come at it, I always like to offer from tabletop. So what we're also doing is we're starting to learn, I'm just gonna take this off. So we're starting to learn about the steps through. <clears throat> as well with these postures. So from tabletop, the feet are activated, top of the feet and ten toes, we're not locking the elbows. The crook of the elbow faces each other, roll the shoulders down, gather in the front ribs. So this posture is also on my One Posture Wednesday videos, have a scroll through the catalogue there, there's lots of options to choose to do about a five, 10 minute posture. And the whole idea of this was the beginning of lockdown when I realized more and more people were gonna be moving. I wanted to break down the individual postures. So of course you can inhale and take the right knee off the ground and exhale, step the foot towards the hands. If that's a strong move and it doesn't go very far, that's fine. Take the right hand, the corresponding hand to the corresponding calf and help it forwards. And then from here, so that's the one option, yeah? So it's a shorter stride. If you're coming at it from downward facing dog, that's a longer stride from your feet to your hands, yeah? Much longer stride. So now if that's too long, you can come at it from tabletop. So for our come at it from down dog, we would inhale and quite often the leg goes into the air and then we would exhale and step the foot through to the hands. If we find that that's far too far a stride, let it drop where it wants to land. Take the corresponding hand to the calf and help it come through. And then from here, so we're in the same place, if we were from tabletop, the knee would be down, then that would give us the opportunity to come around as we did last week into baby warrior. We're gonna come up into the full posture. So we've come off the back knee, look at the back foot and drop the back heel down. And then just ensure that the front heel, if you were to draw a straight line, goes all the way to the back inner arch. Really engage through the back heel and the back toes too. So the four corners of the foot are on the ground. So it's important to acknowledge the ball of the foot, the outside blade, the inner arch and the heel. So when we're ready, come up onto fingers and thumbs. We've got a bend in our front knee and you might like to take your hands up onto your front side, and then slowly we turn towards the long side of the mat. So have a look at your feet. Before we go any further, there's a bend in our front knee. 
So as we look at our feet, what we're doing here is inviting again the front heel to be in line with the inner arch of the back foot. The back foot is turned in on a diagonal and we're really engaging through the outside blade of the back foot. So as we do this, we roll that down and we really spread the, four, the five toes down and we're lifting the inner arch of the back foot through to the ankle lift, the inner knee lift and the groin lift of the back leg. Have a look at your front leg. And if the hips feel very tight here, then you might like to turn the front foot slightly in too. So this really helps tight hips. Maybe there's been an injury there or in the knee or in the ankle of the front leg. And then what we're doing is we're bending into that front knee. So we're inviting, of course, if it's comfortable for you to have the foot straight forwards, by all means take that. But if that's challenging for you, it feels over, stretched in your hips, don't do it. Take the foot slightly in, yeah? As long as there is a line from the mid thigh muscle, your quadricep, we have four, so this middle muscle, all the way down the center of your knee, through the center of your shin, through the middle of your foot, to the second toe, yeah? So choose where that foot wants to be, bend into that front knee, try not to let the knee go beyond the ankle over to the toes, keep it stacked above or if that's too much a little bit further back. And then we sweep the arms up so they're in line with the shoulders and we look out towards the front fingers. Relax the shoulders, reach through the elbows, wrists, fingers and thumb tips so we feel this wonderful space from the center of our heart. Notice that you're not sticking your ribs out and sticking your bottom back and up. Draw the belly in and relax your glutes and send your tailbone down. Tuck the chin slightly so it's parallel to the ground and keep reaching through those fingers. See if you can settle in a little more to that front knee. Really engage through both feet, toes and legs and feel that warrior posture. So notice if the tailbone is flipping up, keep relaxing the glutes, sending it down. We wanna release the lumbar area, don't contract there. And then think that this front thigh, someone's got their hand on it and they are rolling it backwards. So you're really opening all the way up into that front knee. Keep pressing into the outside blade of the back foot, the heel, the toes, keep lifting from the inner arch, ankle, knee and groin. And keep relaxing the glutes, sending the tail down, drawing a lift and a lock. So that would be Uddiyana Bandha, where we draw an awareness of the pubic bone to the navel. So we lift and lock the belly in and back and down. Uddiyana Bandha. Settle in for three, for two, and one. And then inhale, straighten that front leg. Release the hands down and you can step the back foot up to the top of your mat or you might take a few baby steps. And again, you know, we don't have to come at it from the ground. We can come at it from standing if we prefer. So I'm just going to come around the other way so you can see me. So this time we would be keeping the left leg in front and the right leg would go back. So from standing rather than coming from the ground, I like to have the feet hip distance. And then I'm going to step big stride back with that right foot, yeah? Bending into the front knee, just ensuring that the knee isn't going over the ankle towards the toes. It's stacked above it or it might be slightly further back. And then again, the front heel is in line with the inner arch of the back foot and the back toes that turn slightly in. So we're gathering up through the inner arch, ankle, knee and groin and rolling down the outside blade of the back foot. Just ensuring that the shoulders are over the hips. The front foot can be slightly turned in if you prefer, if it's tight in the front hip or knee. Just ensuring there is that line, straight leg lying down the mid quadricep, the thigh muscle through the knee and the shin to the second toe. We inhale and take the arms up. We exhale and settle in. Relax shoulders, elbows and wrists. Gather in the belly, relax the glutes and the tail down. Try not to grip the glutes, which I see often here. Tuck the chin so it's parallel to the ground. Keep reaching the gaze out through the front fingers. Feel the space through the arms and from the chest. Maybe you can sit a little deeper for three two 
And one, keep thinking that some, you are rolling from inside to top thigh to back of thigh and out. Rolling that thigh backwards through the knee. Sit a little deeper still if it's there. Keep relaxing the shoulders. We're rolling the shoulder blades down the back body towards the tail, releasing the glutes. Nicely done. And then when you're ready, release the hands. Look at the back foot and step it or bunny hop it all the way up to the top of the mat. So to give you that from downward facing dog or tabletop, so we would be here in this position, tabletop, everything stacked. We'd inhale the left leg forwards and let it come to the hands or wherever it lands and help it through with the corresponding palm to the calf. Then we would be lifting the back knee and we would be stepping the back heel down. Or if we were coming from downward facing dog, remember this is a longer stride here. Releasing the head, relax the shoulders, gather in the ribs. We did inhale and the left leg might go up or it might come straight forwards. And as we exhale, we step the foot between the hands. Remember if that's too far, let it drop where it lands, corresponding hand to calf. It comes between the hands. We drop the back heel down. We're looking for that line from the back of that front heel all the way to the inner arch of the back foot. We come onto fingers and thumbs. We take the hands to the front thigh and we make our way up to stand, turning to the long side of the mat again. And here we are again. We start to connect into the feet and legs. We start to take the arms up and out. Reach the gaze out through the front fingers. Gather in the belly, Uriana Banda. We draw in from the pubic bone to belly, in up and back. Relax the glutes, tail down, and let's settle in. Remember, the front foot can be slightly turned in if that's better for your front hip. For three, for two, strong arms, and one. Beautiful. Release the hands, look to the back foot, step it all the way up to the top of your mat, or bunny hops. And that's Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you're enjoying these, please do let me know. It's always great to hear. I'll be back next week around this time for our One Posture Wednesday. Thanks again. Have a great day. Om Shanti. Namaste. Bye.